Hey, my name's Mark Jones, uh, I'm 54, I'm, I'm a family man, I've got two kids and lovely wife, Anita. Right from the get-go uh, we were into bikes, uh, all my brothers were the same, we used to cobble together push bikes and lawn mowers and, and make our mini bikes. I enjoy life and we want to make the most of it and it's certainly my uh, ambition. To wake up every day is the best start. <laughs>27th February 1999 I was uh, doing some stuff out at home and I thought oh I must get a lot of tickets so uh, I shot into town on a bike. On my way home I had a serious MVA, a motor vehicle accident and this old guy had spun out of control and cleaned me up on the corner and uh, very nearly killed me at that point. I ended up in hospital uh, as I say I was going to town for a lot of ticket and it was three and a half months before I got home again. Uh, the lot of ticket didn't win either. It's very hard to get your head around uh, just how much adjustment you have to do to recover. The children were five and three and I was unable to play with them as I had done. Prior to having this motor vehicle accident, I'd get home, play with the kids, so you're interacting with them and just simple things like picking them up, uh, you, you're not able to do that. So I was uh, basically bedridden for quite some time, unable to get showered, clothed, dressed, feed myself, even getting in and out of bed, I was just uh, unable to do all those things easily. So I was the breadwinner as well, and my job had stopped, and Anita had to finish her work as well to look after me. So uh, that adjustment period was, it was absolutely dramatic, it was huge. Uh, next thing you know, um, my kidneys had failed, and uh, I was in an imminent uh, kidney failure, so I had to learn to dialyse so that I could do dialysis at home. Without the income protection insurance, uh, we would have been really in desperate straits and probably to the point where we would have sold our house and be renting now. We wouldn't be in our own home now. After Mark's accident, it's everything. It's, uh, we wouldn't have the life we have today if, if we didn't have that income protection cover with Astron. Firstly, we would be, I mean, no doubt about it, we would be bankrupt. Straight off, we would be bankrupt. There was no way we could have afforded to um, carry on paying our mortgage. Uh, there, was, there were times when I, I don't think we could seriously put food on the table. It's, uh, when, with everything else that was going on, the chaos and the mayhem at the time, once we realised that um, Astron were going to step in and assist us with this, it was just something, it just took the load off. It meant that I could also concentrate on assisting Mark's recovery as best I could. I think people always uh, worry about the cost of these things and they always think it's going to happen to someone else, it's not going to happen to them. It happened to us, it, it happens. I just say to people, you think you can't afford it, just somehow try and build it into your budget. Once you build it into your budget, it becomes habit to pay for it each month, it's fine, it's there and then you, t and then you forget about it. But I can only say from, from our family's point of view, when this happened to us and we suddenly realised that Astron Life had that cover there for us and they stepped up, and they've always stepped up, it's life-changing, absolutely, utterly life-changing. I'm working part-time again now, and uh, with the income protection, with the injuries that I sustained, I didn't have to work, but I felt it was very helpful emotionally, physically, mentally, and for the children also to see a good example of you get up and you go to work and it's just you know what you do. I find that by working four days part-time, having Wednesday off, that enables me to, to maintain that balance and over the years I've found that works. The leisure time for me now, I enjoy you know, working with the dogs and getting out and about, still go outdoors. I can still go out on the motorcycle, I've uh, modified it to suit my uh, damaged leg, modified the handlebars just so it's a bit easier for me to uh, ride it, but still get out on the bikes. We've been getting into going to concerts and it's just so good because we couldn't before, we couldn't, it was just in the too hard basket when Mark was so unwell and now we're really getting brave and we're looking at going on an overseas trip for the first time in a long, long time and we can do that now, it's, uh, yeah, life is good. I was really good.